Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna determine if two quantities are proportional. So in this video, it's a little bit different than the previous videos we've done because we're looking at, essentially we're looking at multiple ratios at the same time in the form of a table of values. So when are two quantities proportional? Well, when all of the ratios relating the quantities are equivalent. And if they are equivalent, we would call this a proportional relationship. So this is gonna kind of segue into when we start talking about linear functions later on in pre-algebra and into Algebra 1, and you'll talk about what a proportional graph or a proportional relationship looks like. And so when you do that, you'll start talking a little bit about slope and how to find the slope of a line, and you'll quickly realize that slope is the change in y divided by the change in x. So for this specific video, there's not really a certain order in which we need to divide our terms, x divided by y or y divided by x. Either way, if the quantities are proportional, Either way we divide there, the division, the quotient of what we're dividing, if the quantities are proportional, then it's gonna be the same. When we divide, the, qu the uh, quotients are gonna be the same. However, in order to maybe set us up for the future um, and to, to make the um, connection to functions here in this video, let's divide y by x here, okay? That's gonna be the way that we end up dividing with uh, slope and when we're trying to find the slope of a line. So let's just kind of do it that way in this video. So we wanna take a look at all of these terms and we wanna divide y by x. And when we do this division, if we get the same result each time we do the division, all the way down the table, then we can say the quantities are proportional, okay? On the contrary, if we don't get the same thing for our division, then we're gonna say it's not proportional. So we got three examples here, let's dive right in. All right, so for number one, we're gonna do three divided by one half. So three divided by one half. Well, we know when we divide by fractions, we can change to multiply. And one half would be two over one, which is just two. So three times two is six. So the, the result of my division here, y divided by x is six. Well, if I look at my next two points, or, or my next uh, coordinate here, I guess we could say, my next quantity, six over one, six divided by one is six. So, so far, right, we got the same thing. Now here, we're gonna do nine divided by three over two. This would be nine times two thirds, and nine times two is 18, and 18 divided by three is six, right? So I'm just drawing these arrows here to show us that so far our quantities are remaining the same. And then our last one we do 12 divided by two, which is also six. So notice how we got a result of six each time we divided y by x. So for this one we would say yes, these uh, quantities here, x and y, are proportional to one another, okay? All right, let's do the same thing for number two. So this one will be a little bit easier because we don't have any fractions that we're working with. So we're gonna divide y by x. So this would be two divided by one, which is two. Four divided by two, which is also two. Six divided by two, excuse me, six divided by three, which is two. Eight divided by four, which is two. And 10 divided by five, which is two. So notice here, all of these values, the quotient of y divided by x is all two. So once again, we would say yes, for number two, these two quantities would also be proportional to one another. All right, so like any good video or tutorial, if we see two examples that are good examples, then likely the third is going to be a non-example, right? So hopefully that's what we see in this third example. Okay, so we know what it does look like if the uh, quantities are proportional. So now in this example, let's look at what the table of values is gonna look like if the quantities are not proportional. So here we're gonna do four divided by two, so we get two. So now going forward, when we divide, we should get a result of two if the quantities are proportional. Uh-oh, now we're gonna do two divided by four, and that is one half. One divided by six, and that's one sixth. One half divided by eight, well that would be one half times one over eight, which is one sixteenth. And then one fourth divided by 10, which would be one fourth times one over 10, and that's one over 40. Wow, so we had a quotient of two, then one half, then one sixth, then one sixteenth, then one fortieth. So for number three, we're gonna say no, those two quantities are not proportional, okay? So that's how we can look at a table of values and determine if we have a proportional relationship.